of all, Happy New Year. I hope you'll like and subscribe and share The Wash Daily on YouTube because unfortunately we're being shadow banned. But also in news, many different changes are happening because it is 2024. There is a lot of legal cannabis in the US and some of those markets are changing their laws. Colorado, for instance, is now going to be issuing a use by date on their cannabis products. New York and Washington are gonna make it hard for employers to ask about previous cannabis use or even to not hire somebody as a result of a cannabis charge they've had in the past or from some use of cannabis off the job when they weren't working. Also, Nevada has doubled its possession limit to two and a half ounces per person. And Oklahoma is issuing secret shoppers, kind of like Stasi for sativas. Also in news, Tennessee hemp growers are saying that Tennessee is trying to ruin their chances of having a successful rollout of the hemp industry. Tennessee is looking to change the rules midway. 2018, they allowed for products derived from hemp to be sold regardless of what those products were. And now they're saying any of those products that are becoming a product that contains some amount of THC through the process of transitioning cannabinoids that previously weren't THC, those products are going to be now illegal. What they're saying in Tennessee is that's going to ruin the market. The major source of income for people who are producing hemp is from the people making CBD, Delta 8, and Delta 10 products. The Agricultural Committee of Tennessee has support as a lot of them are hemp farmers and they say they're gonna resist any changes Tennessee tries to make, likening it to a game and Tennessee is changing the rules in the middle of it. Also in news, officials in South Africa are saying they're going to allow the farmers to grow hemp as part of a project with a sketchy entity called Opulence Pharmaceuticals is going to be majorly behind it. They're limiting the amount of THC in those hemp plants at 0.2%, which is at a naturally low number. In fact, that number can only be achieved by hemp seeds that have been genetically modified. Opulence Pharmaceutical doesn't really have much of a background, but it does seem that they're looking to get heavily involved in the hemp market in Africa. Thanks for watching The Watch Daily.